What is going on everybody in this edition of Madden Sunday School episode 2? I want to talk about the different types of flat zones that are present in Madden 17. These were a new addition to Madden 17 as were all the other zone coverages and they will be carrying over to Madden 18 so it is very important to know how these zones react and interact with the offensive players during different route combos and concepts. So uh, the first zone you want to look at right here is the cloud flat. Now the cloud flat is what you're going to see a lot of times in stock standard Tampa 2 defenses. It's probably the most common flat zone on the outside there. You see Deshaun Sheed and Richard Sherman in cloud flats. They're labeled out for you. And a cloud flat is a flat zone assignment primarily used in cover 2 type defenses by the outside cornerbacks. The cloud flat player is responsible for protecting the outside deep and short areas of cover two. Now, his priority is to protect against deep outside routes first and rally to short outside routes second. So, what you're going to see here, I'm going to run, I'm on offense with the Green Bay Packers, gun, wide trips, corner strike. Let's go ahead and reset the play here. So you have Eddie Lacy on the left running a flat route and Jordy Nelson running a deep C route. Now you're going to see the cloud flat on the outside. His priority is to drop back and defend against deep outside routes. So what you're going to see at the snap of the ball, he's going to drop back and defend against that C route very well. And the way to beat cloud flats is to check it down underneath a two-year flat route. So once again, you're going to see he's going to do that every single time. He's going to drop back really far to defend that C route and that flat route is going to be open. So once again, I'm going to try and squeeze in the C route to show you how he basically just blankets it along with that deep zone defender on the left half of the field and they're definitely going to shut down any type of C route, corner route, deep outside route. So obviously uh, the cloud flat is a great flat zone option for you if you're the type of player who wants to force your opponent uh, to dink and dunk it downfield. If he's running these concepts to try and you know isolate the flat zone defender and read off of him and you want him to constantly be checking it down to the flats, uh, then the cloud flat is definitely uh, the option that is going to work for you. Now, the opposite of the cloud flat is going to be the hard flat. So the hard flat is basically going to clamp down super hard on any flat route that it sees. So it's a flat zone assignment that is primarily used in cover two type defenses by the outside corners. Now, side note, uh, there is a play called cover three hard flat that is common throughout different formations that is basically cover three, but you still have these hard flats on the outside. So the hard flat player is responsible for protecting the outside short areas of uh, the zone defense. Now his priority is to protect against short outside routes first. So what you're going to see, same concept on offense here, corner strike, and you're going to see how hard he clamps down on Eddie Lacy here and almost jumps the route and if he jumps that it's a pick six so that's the kind of behavior you're gonna see out of these hard flats is that they're gonna clamp down super hard on any flat route and obviously the counter to these is to stay patient in the pocket and throw that deep outside route whether it be a corner route a C route uh, just a fade route whatever it may be that's kind of uh, the counter to that now uh, situations where you'd want to use a hard flat is if your opponent has been throwing you know say you've been using cloud flats a lot and your opponent has been checking it down uh, to the flat route and you want to try and mix it up on them and run a hard flat one time and see and trying to bait him into making the same read and maybe you know your corner jumps it and gets a pick six uh, that's a good situation to run hard flats another good situation is in third or fourth and short where you don't want to give your opponent anything easy and quick to the flats and want to make him you know stay in the pocket and make a read deep downfield uh, that's another good situation but the hard flats definitely the most aggressive of the flat zones as you see right there a lacy catch it try to get up field and the hit actually jarred the ball loose so Definitely uh, flat routes not going to fly against hard flats. Now the final, third and final flat zone concept you're going to see is the soft squat. Now the soft squat is prevalent in cover two sink style defenses, which is what I'm in right here. It's also prevalent in zone cover two shell blitzes. So any type of, you know, four under, two deep type of zone blitz, you're going to see uh, the soft squat on the outside. Now. The soft squat is a flat zone assignment that is primarily seen 
in those type of style of defenses, basically you only see them in cover two shells. Uh, the soft squat player, based on the route concept ran by the offense, has the ability to convert to man coverage. Now, the soft squat player also has the ability to jump certain types of outbreaking routes by inside receivers. Uh, thus, defensive plays where a soft squat player is present are sometimes referred to as trap coverages, and I think that is a very accurate description of soft squats, especially the word trap. So, you're going to see against this corner strike concept, its behavior is going to be very similar to a cloud flat. You're going to see he's going to drop back and defend against that deep C route just like the cloud flat was doing. So. At first glance, it looks like it's very similar, potentially identical to a cloud flat, but where you're going to see the differences is in different route concepts. So say I'm not running corner strike, say I run four verticals. Now what you're going to see here out of the soft squat against four verticals, soft squat still on the outside there, is that he's going to carry with Jordy Nelson and basically convert to man to man here. So as you see, he runs deep with Jordy Nelson. There's no opportunity. He's double covered and the ball ends up getting jarred loose by the hit. So that's a situation where a cloud flat's not going to do that. You know, if you run a cloud flat against four verticals, we can look at the behavior here. See, he chucks him to the inside and redirects him, but he's not going to turn and run vertically with the receiver like a soft squat will. Now, in this scenario, um, what you're going to see is that against four verticals the soft squat will run deep but it's not just against the play four verticals it's against the concept now if I were to change the concept instead of leaving Jared Cook on that deep crossing route if I were to drag Jared Cook you're gonna see the behavior of the soft squat change now he's no longer gonna turn and run with Jordy Nelson because he sees Jared Cook dragging across the field and he sees that he's gonna enter his zone so he drops with Jordy Nelson for a little while and then he's gonna end up clamping down as soon as Jared Cook kind of gets into that area right there, he actually ran a little too deep and it didn't end up happening. But that's kind of the behavior you're going to see out of that soft squat. Now, another thing to note out of this soft squat is that it's going to, like, true to its name, or, or true to the adjective trap, I should say, it's it's really is a trap style of coverage. So what you're going to see here, corner strike, and all I'm going to do is fade Jordy Nelson and just watch his behavior. See how he drops with Jordy and then all of a sudden cuts down deep hard onto that table route out the backfield by Eddie Lacy and we can go into instant replay and look at how quickly uh, he kind of changes his course so at snap of the ball he definitely looks like I mean this looks like a cloud flat it looks like typical cloud flat coverage he's going to drop back deep but look how sharply he plants that back right foot into the ground and just instantly breaks onto that table route coming out the backfield this is definitely a coverage that can surprise your opponent and how it reacts to certain route combos now if your opponent knows how the soft squat can react to certain route combos uh, then you do have to be careful because what your opponent can do since he knows okay you're playing a soft squat and he knows how it's going to react he can just throw the ball as soon as the soft squat breaks he can try and squeeze that ball in right there to Jordy Nelson so it's definitely a game of cat and mouse, definitely a mind game, uh, but it's very important to know about all the different interactions and how these flat zones will react against certain zone coverages. Now, something else to note about soft squats and cloud flats, if they are the only defender, or they're guarding the only receiver, I should say, on that side of the quarterback. So if I were to motion Eddie Lacy over to the right side and have all four other skill position players to the right of the quarterback, so Eddie Lacy, Jared Cook, Randall Cobb and Devontae Adams all to the right of the quarterback. Jordy Nelson, the only one on the left. Now, what the soft squat and cloud flat will do is convert to man-to-man -to -man coverage. So right here, you're going to see he converts to man-to-man, -to -man, and you're going to be able to hit that C route in other man-beating routes against that cloud flat or soft squat, whatever it is. So that is also important behavior to know about. That is intended behavior. Um, so that's a popular concept online is they will, people will isolate that defender on the left side and run a C route and whether you're in a soft squat or a cloud flat uh, he's going to end up converting to match man-to-man -man coverage and they're going to be able to hit that C route pretty much every single time so that's another important uh, kind of identity to be knowledgeable about it, uh, of these cloud flats and these soft squat zones but that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you guys learned something. hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, let me know what I can do better in the future for these types of episodes. And until next time, guys, 
Take it easy.